so dear students uh, today i am going to give you the important questions in bcom 47 web technologies so before going to the concept please subscribe my channel anu computer education to get further updates so please watch this video till end so i am going to give you some important instructions how to present the web technologies answer the subject is easy but scoring is difficult so why it is becoming difficult so that i am going to give you the please follow my guidelines to get a outstanding in your final exam okay so without wasting further time so directly i am going to the concepts uh, the important questions so this is become most important questions so the first uh, we are going to the unit one so what is form explain the different types of form, form controls so you know what is the meaning of form so whenever you are uh, you want to create a gmail account or facebook account you are, you are clicking the option called as uh, create account or sign up so once you click on the sign up or create account it will open one registration form so there you can see the different form elements you can see so what are the different types of form elements you are going to see there one is a radio button okay like male or female you want to select the radio button text box okay text box so different options you are going to select now okay so this is about the uh, concept so what we have what you are going to do now there radio button text box and next uh, text area okay next uh, uh, check box check box file file upload suppose you want to upload file or uh, resume or any photo so you have to use file upload date so date of calendar type information or email so all these uh, are called as form uh, controls so what how to create a form now when a form can be created with a form tag form tag can be created with the form tag it is a padded tag because it is having opening and closing tag so you have to write about the definition of the form tag after that how to create a form you have to explain what are the different types of form controls are there all these options uh, you have to mention after that one simple form form you create it and you will get a good marks okay so this is about the concept of form so next uh, we are going to the next concept uh, that is uh, table so what is the meaning of table what is the meaning of uh, table how to create a table that i am going to explain so table is nothing but a, a collection of rows and columns is known as table so in C, uh, in uh, html the table can be created with a table tag table tag so it is also padded tag the table tag we have to use it so table tag is also having the sub tags one is tr tag one is td tag and one is th tag so you know th tag is nothing but table heading table heading next uh, td is nothing but table data table data <coughs> next tr is nothing but table row so in order to create a row in uh, table so we have to use the tr tag table data is nothing but what are the data suppose example hmm. next uh, what are the different types of attributes which are present in table tag that i have to explain so what are the different types of attributes are there in table tag one is what call span call span row span okay next to height uh, width uh, okay width uh, next to uh, border border next to uh, uh, cell spacing cell spacing cell padding so all these are etc these are all are called as table tag attributes so every attribute you have to explain in detail so first uh, you know how to present the answer first to write the definition after that how to create the, 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 uh, the table that uh, tag we have name you have to mention and what are the sub tags which are comes under the table concept that you have to explain so after that what are the uh, different types of attributes which are comes under that all the attributes you have to list out so after writing the attributes you have to write at least one line of each and every attribute after that you write one simple example program so this way we need to present the answer so you will get a good marks in final exam so next uh, explain in detail about the frames in H, uh, xml so what is a, uh, html so frames are nothing but dividing the browser window into multiple parts so example suppose uh, you know generally this is one browser window so generally what will happen why we are using the frame concept in general the one browser can display only one answer suppose i want to display two answers in one browser now so first before displaying the answers in uh, the browser we need to divide the browser into two pieces so this is first part and this is second part so in the first part you can display the first output and second part you can display the second part then we need to go to the concept of frame frame tag so frame cut concept can be created with frame set tag and it is having the two attributes rows or columns you have to use sir what is the meaning of rows or columns uh, rows attributes are used to create a, a, a 
browser window into rows or columns are nothing but are dividing the browser window into columns or else you can go for mixed also you can do it now okay now it is all having sub tag that is called as frame tag okay frame tag so what is the use of frame tag after dividing the uh, browser window you can add the okay the first program into the first frame and the second program into the second frame so that is that way we need to use the concept of frame tag it is an unpadded tag so it is not having closing tag so the next concept we are going to discuss the list what is list and different types of list uh, elements so you know we have total three types of list are there order list or order list so that is called as ol ul tag ol tag and next one is dl tag definition list so to, in html we have to what is the list uh, so if you want to write any information which are in the form of point wise like bullets in word you are going to use if you want to represent any points what you are going to write bullets concept you are using so in the bullets two types of bullets are there symbol bullets uh, and the sequence bullets are there if you want to use the sequence bullets you need to go for order list if you want uh, if you want to go for the uh, uh, symbol so go for an order list and the definition list is different so here if you want to write the definition about each and every term so in that case you have to go for the definition list so everything you have to explain so please uh, subscribe my channel so in future all whatever the important questions i'm giving that all related important videos will be uploaded in my channel so you can learn the complete subject through my channel and computer education so next to different types of text format and tags bold tag italic tag underline tag strike uh, big uh, small uh, so all the at least minimum eight tags you have to write it in your final exam so uh, with this we completed this question so next we are going to the next question uh, uh, write about the html basic structure so you know already whenever you are learning any programming language every programming language is having the structure so what is the basic structure of html so you know already what is the basic structure HTML, okay. HTML, add next title, next close title, and next close head, okay. Open body and dash dash close body and close HTML. So this is nothing but the basic structure. So after writing the basic structure. So what is the HTML tag? What is header tag? What is title tag? And everything you have to explain. So this is about the uh, sixth question. So unit one is lengthy unit. So you will be having more number of questions will be there in unit one. So the next question is only one theory question is there in uh, unit one. That is explain in detail uh, about web designing principles. So what is the meaning of web designing principles? So six sidings will six sidings will be, will be there. So uh, you have to explain all the six sidings like uh, uh, understanding the site names, creating the site map. And everything you have to explain. So the next question, the next unit we are going to the second unit. So what is the difference between HTML and DHTML? So HTML and DHTML. So HTML is nothing but hypertext markup language, and DHTML is nothing but dy dynamic hypertext markup language. So HTML with the help of HTML, what are the pages which we are going to create? The those are those pages are called the static pages, and what are the pages which you created with the DHTML? Those are, are nothing but dynamic pages so all this you have to explain so html only it contains plain html tags but whereas in the dhtml what will be there so you will be having what uh, html javascript css all okay it is a combination of many technologies so that everything you have to explain so next what is the meaning of cascading style sheet different types of css you know already uh, css is nothing but cascading style uh, sheets with the help of this what we can do we can uh, give you the styles to the web pages so instead of uh, you can also apply the styles by using html but what is the difference between the css you know in css are three types inline css okay internal css external css and uh, embedded css are internal css external css and inline css inline okay now the all uh, the examples you have to explain the next coming video will be the important uh, this question complete explanation will be uploaded so you can make use of that video so explain the different types of filters and transitions so you know these are nothing but the uh, some uh, uh, graphics related concepts so this also i'll be explaining with practical so you will be getting the clarity okay transitions okay blur uh, so if any ima image is there if you want to display uh, convert that image into a blur so we need to use we need to use the concept of filters and transistors. So we have so many filters and transitions are there. Next up, uh, write about define CSS style rules. Uh, what is the meaning of CSS style rules? Like uh, if you want to write uh, what any CSS selector, as a class selector, element selector, or everything you have to explain here. 
So the next is what is uh, CSS advantages and disadvantages. So everything you have to explain. So this is about the uh, unit 4 questions. So star questions are very very important questions. First you need to co concentrate on the star questions. Once you complete the star questions, you can go for the rest of the questions now. Next, co uh, next unit, uh, unit number 3. Define data type and various uh, data types in JavaScript. And unit 3 is also very lengthy unit. And unit 1 is also lengthy unit. So data type, you know, in C language, we don't have any sp specific data types are there. In order to uh, create any data type, we are using only var, 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 variant. Okay. Var, okay. So var is nothing but variant. Suppose if I am creating a equal to 10. So what is a now? A is nothing but integer. So if I am writing var uh, a equal to uh, true. True if I am writing. If I am writing true. Now what is a now? Boolean variable. So if I am writing var, if I am writing a equal to hello, I am writing here. So what is a now? A is a string variable string variable so it means what in c language you are having integer variable into keyword you have to use and float variable you have to use float data but in c javascript we don't have any special data types are there so what are the data types you want to create so for everything we have to we need to use var data type only so that is the beauty of javascript so you have to explain so what is function how to create a function so it is easy concept and you can uh, next question is uh, what are the different types of looping statements are there so so is your unit tree is uh, is full of like C language only. What are the concepts you learned in C language? The same thing will be present, just only a few changes are there. We are, what are the few changes I will be explaining? So, looping statements are for a while, do well. So, here one for, uh, for in is also there. So, that we have to understand. So, looping statements, you know, repeating the same statement again and again until the specified condition is true. So for loop, while loop, do while. Well. So, all the syntaxes you have to, uh, the definitions and syntaxes are very, very important. Next, conditional control statements, you know, already. Uh, based on condition, we are executing the statements and we are skipping some statements. If, if else, else if switch. So already you uh, you come to know these topics in C line concept. The same concept which are again available in JavaScript. So next uh, operator. You know operators are nothing but the symbols. We have so many types of operators are there. Unary operators, binary operator, and ternary operators. The same, but few changes are there in operators. So that changes you need to remove. Suppose uh, if you want to extra suppose uh, double equal to is also it means what similarity of checking triple equal to is also there so here it will here when you are using the double equal to it will check the only the content but when you are using the triple equal to it will check the content what type suppose these are suppose i am creating one example here where uh, where a equal to hello i am writing here where hello equal to. so what is a now string variable so in the string variable also can be string okay like this if i am writing here uh, where a is equal to new string of so now you tell me okay suppose in this i am writing hello hello i am writing so you tell me what is happening in both are having the same message hello hello now in a in this 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 is also variable and this is also variable so in the both the variables suppose if i am writing a equal to equal to a so it will compare so in a what is there hello in b is uh, in this a also what is there hello so it means it will give you true answer when you are using double equal to but when you go to the triple equal to you'll get a false answer why because why because suppose here i'm writing a and a so both are both are having the same content but one is created with a normal uh, variable concept and one is created with a string string type string type so object type so object cannot be equal to normal variable so this this side is a variable and this side is an object so both are not same in this situation it will display answer false so this you need to understand only few operators are a little bit different so the remaining everything is same so next uh, uh, you need to explain about the dom uh, in javascript you know dom means what the root element root element is having sub sub shells sub shells are having uh, sub sub shells that are everything you have to explain in the diagram so every dom uh, dom you are having the some properties are there and methods will be there dom properties like uh, get element by id uh, get element by tag name so these are all are nothing but the dom properties or dom methods so next uh, string and math objects these are very very important like in c language you learned uh, st uh, string length uh, string copy string lower string upper so here the subject is different the uh, names will be different and mathematical seal floor min uh, max uh, so all the functions which are available in math so whenever you are using these objects you need to write mat dot uh, objects you are using mat dot h you have to write if you are using string dot h objects you have to write string dot uh, objects so next we are going to the unit number next we are going to the unit number 4 explain various mouse events these are very very important so what are the different types of mouse events are there keyboard events uh, mouse events so mouse events are nothing but on mouse over on mouse up 
on key uh, on, on click on double click on mouse move on mouse okay on 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 mouse down on mouse up all these events you have to explain so these definitions all the events definition you have to write and at least two to three uh, mouse events related program you have to write it so next the keyboard events so keyboard on key press on key release on key up and on key down all these keyboard events uh, you have to explain definitions along with one simple example you have to write it so next uh, write a short notes on event and event handler so you know already what is an event so whenever the user is performing anything so the immediately what will happen event will be generated so once the event is generated how you are going to handle so that can be handled with the mouse events or keyboard so whatever the event that event is related to the mouse so then if it is related to the mouse you have to handle with the mouse events if it is a key related to the keyboard so the event handlers can be handled with the functions concept we have tried the functions to handle that particular event so next one is uh, form events what is form events what is the meaning of form events on select on select on submit to on reset okay these are all a form events so all these form events you have to now next when it is comes to the unit number 5 uh, explain in detail about xml query and uh, next explain uh, explain about uh, xml style sheet so xml dtd data type definition doc okay next one is uh, what is xml explain in detail about syntax and rules of creating xml document next one is uh, what is xml schema or xsd so the next last important question is uh, what is xml dom so these are very very important questions in unit number 5 so when it is comes to the uh, two mass questions only few questions i am giving here so one is uh, what is hyperlink in html or anchor tag or a tag all are same so how so linking one page with another page is not nothing but anchor tag so you have to write with uh, its attributes so next one is what is image and it attributes how to create an image so you have to write sometimes this question also will be getting in the long answers also next uh, what is mark you uh, scrolling text is nothing but mark you what different types of attributes which are available in mark you that everything you have to explain so what is javascript advantages and disadvantages of uh, uh, javascript that you have to explain now last question is uh, xml namespace what is xml namespace so please uh, subscribe my channel and computer education to get further updates so whatever the questions i'm giving here that all important questions will be uploaded uh, the videos will be uploaded in my channel you can make use of the videos and you can learn the concept